Hey guys, welcome back to Gone with the Whisk. Today we are making air fryer crescent roll pretzels. Okay, this is super simple. The only ingredients you need are a tube of <coughs> sorry, a tube of crescent rolls, a quarter cup of baking soda, four cups, one quart of water, um, either some flaky salt or some pretzel salt if you have that, and some kind of dip. Some people use like a cheesy dip or a ranch. I'm using honey mustard. Okay, but this is literally all we need to make this. So I'm going to set some of these aside. We don't need to apply it yet. Also, shout out to Laura. Um, she went on my Amazon wish list and bought me this Butcher Block um, stove cover so that my videos will look much nicer for you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, Laura Martinez is, is I've wanted this so bad. But it's like sixty dollars, fifty something dollars, and I just couldn't justify the cost yet. So thank you so much. It looks great. Um, it gives me a nice little workstation, and then when I need to, I can just pick the whole thing up and set it aside and continue working on next steps of projects of recipes. So this is gonna be so handy. Thank you. Alright, so Step one, I'm going to open our croissants, uh, crescent rolls, these are not croissants, I don't pastry stuff, I'm a stickler. <laughs> Some people I know get terrified of these things, do y'all? Let me know in the comments. But, um, I always just pop them open, no problem. My mom, on the other hand, is like, has to have someone else come in the room and open it for her, and she'll like go into the room. Dramatic. Dramatic, dramatic. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to unroll our crescent roll dough. And we're going to separate our triangles. And <coughs> to get bigger, a little bit fluffier ones, even when you're making just normal um, crescent rolls here, kind of press them, stretch them a bit, stretch them out, stretch them over. Then, you know, just tightly roll up. That way when they bake up, you know, you can actually bend them into a crescent shape. And when they bake up, it'll be um, a little bigger and more crescent shaped. Look a little more homemade than just like rolling it up plain out of the can, you know. But yeah, so we're just going to make these, and set them aside, so how has everybody been this week? Hope everybody's been good, um, like I've said before, my laptop charger broke, so I, um, all my videos that were been edited have been like on my laptop with battery dead and all my video editing is on my is on my laptop so even if I did stuff on my phone I don't have the right program because I pay for the computer version not the phone version so <laughs> I've been stuck and then work I got my charger in and then I've just been like exhausted when I get home from work in the evenings so, I've just waited until today, Sunday, to cook for you guys. And this isn't much of a meal prep type recipe, but it is definitely a nice, fun snack. And it's really, really easy. But what have you guys been up to this week? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to find out what everybody's, you know, what all my different followers um, get up to. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these croissants. Move that to medium frame. Now, <coughs> what we're going to do, let me experiment here for a second. Can this, nope, it's not. That could work though, that could work. Okay. Oops. 
Let's move them so they're all in camera. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this four cups of water here, and we're gonna turn this burner on high, or just below high. Okay. I'm gonna let that come to a boil. So it'll take it a few minutes. Probably should have done that while I did this, but you know, live and learn, live and learn. Must be something in there that's kind of looking toasty. It'll be fine though. But while we do that, we can go ahead and get our air fryer ready. So you get your basket. And I like to use these air fryer liners. Um, the recipe does recommend using parchment. I use these because it's already uh, cut to the right size. And it's perforated so the point of the air fryer is the air flows all around stuff. It's perforated so the air can flow through. So, just set that in your basket there. So now you are ready to go. Let's take this back over here. Let's see. Not warm yet. just woke up, they quieted down for a little while, now they're all chatty. <laughs> if you've never made pretzels before, what you do, the same with bagels too, uh, what you do is you take your dough and you dip it into boiling water that has baking soda in it. <coughs> and you leave it in for about 30 seconds and then this creates that dark brown crispy crunchy pretzel crust on the outside so we're just waiting okay it's warming up now so we'll just give it a few more minutes there's my recipe you need to find the cook time and temperature. So we're going to cook it at 350 degrees um, for 12 minutes in the air fryer. Just a little bit more. It's getting, oh, it's getting pretty warm. All right. So, got some steam and all coming up. So, should just be a moment more. What have you guys ate this week? Has anyone tried any of my recipes yet? Um, I have a ton of leftovers in my fridge right now, so I really need to eat a bunch of those before I do some big meals. But y'all know I don't like eating a whole lot of leftovers, so there's some stuff I should have frozen but just didn't plan ahead because I thought at the time, oh, I'm going to eat this in the next day or two. So I need to go through and see like what's still good, what I'm actually going to eat, what I've been kidding myself about, and see what can be frozen at this point.
And I could have sworn I had two like big boiler pots, but I can only find one and it is in the fridge with food in it, so I need to clean that out so I can cook some different meals. Or even just, you know, box mac and cheese when I felt lazy. <laughs> <coughs> hot. Okay, so now we're just waiting for it to start boiling. We're almost there. Let's go ahead and turn it all the way up to high. So, when we add in our baking soda, it's going to bubble up a lot. Um, just a chemical reaction with the water and the baking soda and the heat. Um, that's fine, that's normal, don't panic. I'm probably still gonna panic, but y'all don't panic. <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, but it's going to s not really cook, because it's not gonna be in there long enough, but it's gonna have a chemical reaction to the outer layer of dough with the crust. And that's gonna give us that Nice dark brown, crunchy, crispy coating, uh, crust. So, oh, starting to bubble. So we're almost there. Now, just wait a minute more. I keep saying that, but we're almost there. It is Sunday here. I'm posting this video today for you guys. Um, normally I like <coughs> film a bunch on Sundays and then I schedule them throughout the week. But I'm going to post this one here today because I'm like behind. I don't have a backlog caught up. So, do this for y'all. Probably film a couple more videos. I need to clean my house. It is a wreck, like embarrassingly bad friend try to, like, oh, we can go to your house. Like, mm, let's go to your house. I don't, no, we're not coming to my house right now. <laughs> so, I need to get my house together. At least the downstairs. I swear, like, if, um, I don't know, I have problems with my joints, and, you know, I get worn out real easy. So, some days, I'm like, I'm gonna come home from work, and I'm gonna clean the whole downstairs, and I get either the living room or the kitchen, but not both. So, I need to see how much I can get done today. And then, you know, the upstairs at some point. Alright, now the water is boiling. So we're going to take our quarter cup of baking soda, okay? And we're going to dump it in. Oh, okay. Told you I was going to panic a little bit. Alright, so it's super bubbly. So we're going to drop these in. I'm going to do like two at a time, and I'm going to set a timer on my phone. I lost my timer. Oh no. That's a calculator. I should have been prepared for this. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um. 30 seconds. We're just going to let these two go because I don't know how long they've been in now. Um. And if you have like a um, little strainer thing or a spider whisk or whatever they call it, um, use that. I don't. Okay. So we pull this out, pop it right into the air fryer. Okay, and you can see how it puffed up. It didn't really cook it, but it puffed up, made the skin a bit bubbly. Like, that's what we want. That's going to give us our pretzel crust texture, okay? So we're going to take two more, pop them in, hit my timer. I got 28 seconds. I'm just going to let them go. Uh, move them around a little bit. If you have one of those spider whisk, little basket things, use one of those, but if not, just grab you a spatula with some slots in it and you will be good too. You just might drip a little more water. Alright, so now we're going to take 
these out, pop them in here. I probably should have sprayed this parchment with a little bit of um, baking spray, but I didn't think about that until just right now, so if you're following along at home, um, do that. <laughs> Two more, turn the timer on, All right. The last two, turn them on. I'm gonna see if I can push these around just a little bit, make a little more room for us. Is that starting to fill up? We got to make pretzels, um, have that pretzel look and taste and texture you have to do them in the baking soda water bath. Otherwise, it's just, um, they'll be very pale, they won't be crunchy, they won't have quite that same texture or taste to the bread itself. Um, yeah, that's just, this is how you make a pretzel. Now you can always take a little bit of bread and just sprinkle salt on it, but it's not a true pretzel unless you do that. But, I mean, look how easy this was. Like, you literally just bring it out to a bowl with the baking soda in it, let it go for 30 seconds, and pop it out. Even if you're doing baked pretzels or anything else in the oven or bagels the same way, it's so easy. And this isn't even making dough. This is just refrigerated um, canned croissant dough, crescent roll dough. You could also probably do this with biscuits. I think I'm going to try that next week or so. Alright, so we're going to take some flaky salt. Um, big granules. I'm just about out, so I'm the bottom of the can and it's smaller pieces. If you have actual pretzel salt, that's great too. But we're just going to take it and sprinkle it on here. Okay. We are going to pop this into the air fryer at 350 degrees for 12 minutes, okay? So. And start. Alright, so I'm going to clean up while this cooks and we'll be right back let y'all skip ahead to the end so it's got 12 minutes i'll see you right back then all right it just told me to turn them so look how golden they are um so i'm just gonna like pull them off of the parchment just a bit just so they don't stick to it all the way the ooh, they're hot the bottom side is still pretty doughy so we're gonna give them you know the rest of the bake time of course but they're, they're getting that nice brown pretzel crust texture. Okay, so I kind of loosen them up a bit just to keep them from sticking. So I'm doing this one hand, it's hot, so my camera's like all over the place, I know. But uh, let's put them back in and give them a few more minutes. All right. All right, so my timer went off. Um, they look amazing. But when you flip them over, they're still not quite done yet. So I'm going to flip all these and put them back in for about four or five more minutes just to get the this side toasted. And then we'll see how they look. But they look amazing already. Like, <laughs> if this dough was cooked all the way, I would just eat them right now. I wouldn't even have any left to film, finish the video with. So <laughs> we'll try to some self-control and get these finished. All right, they are finished. So I think I cooked them a little bit too long. 
So they're a little darker than I wanted, but they're really soft and fluffy. So I'm going to pull these out. Still kind of hot. I think I did them for another six minutes. I meant to go for four. I didn't set a timer. I just turned it on the default like 20 minute setting and thought I will keep up with it and I didn't. I don't know if I'm joking when I do these things. But let's see, where's my knife at? Ooh. And this is that knife I got in the um mailbag video last week that one of you lovely people sent for, to me from my um, Amazon wish list. So let's take this one. We're just going to cut it open. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. Looks pretty decent to me. <coughs> mm, that's good. That's really good. It's got like the chewy, buttery, flaky cinnamon roll filling. That's in my crescent roll filling. <coughs> the outside is that crispy, salty pretzel crust. Mm. That's really good. Oh, I see on camera these look black. They are not that dark. The lighting, I gotta figure out my lighting here. It's not, it's not that burnt. Okay, they are, they're dark brown, but they are not burnt. <laughs> so, I'm going to take some honey mustard sauce, or you can use, you know, whatever dip you like for pretzels, maybe a cheese sauce, or like a, um, <coughs> even ranch, or like a beer cheese or something, but I'm going to dip that in and taste it out. That is really good. Yeah, that's really good. Alright, so this is how you make super, super, super easy pretzels in your air fryer, okay? All we do is take some pre-made crescent roll dough. You can probably do this with biscuits too. I think I'm going to try that out uh, soon. Do it with some biscuits or crescent rolls, or any kind of pre-made packaged dough like that. Dip it in boiling water with some baking soda, just for 30 seconds, just to get that nice, crispy, crusty texture, if you can kind of see. And then pop it in the air fryer, or your oven, honestly, and just let it go. Just let it bake, and you're done. Yeah, these are really good. Um, you should definitely make these. <coughs> if you do, I would make sure you spray the parchment in your air fryer. I'll keep them sticking quite so much. <coughs> and that oil might help. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> there we go. That oil might help the bottoms cook a little bit faster. But, um... <coughs> yes, they're super easy. It's super easy. And I might just go with... <coughs> Sorry, y'all. 15 minutes instead of 12 minutes, and that should get you great timing. Um, I think I need to turn my uh, fan down in mine a little bit. This might just be one of those I have to play with until I get the settings right. But, I mean... Look how good that looks, how crispy. They're not this burnt, I promise. Um, I just look it over my laptop and I'm seeing how dark they look. They look way darker on there. I might need to get a different kind of bulb for my um, oven setup here. Because it looks um, kind of washed out in some spots. And then like really dark over here, so I just need to fix that for you guys. But uh, they taste amazing, trust me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Glad you decided to stop by today. Um, 
If you have any friends who like to cook or bake, tell them about my channel. I'd love to have them join us here. Um, be sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. Comments and likes really help me out because I tell YouTube that um, people like my video and they're interested in it and that other people might be interested <coughs> in my videos so it pushes out to more people based on that so always be sure to leave me a like and a comment um, and the longer you watch a video the um, more YouTube says hey yeah people like this they're engaged with it let's push it out to more people because it's like the videos that like get no likes, no comments, people watch for like 20 seconds and turn off, YouTube says, ah, no one's interested in this. So you guys are doing great with, you know, likes, comments, watching my videos, like thank y'all so much. Um, thank y'all a lot, but I will see you guys next time. Um, thanks so much for stopping by.